Next question is from Ty Finnicum. Here's a scenario. The president appoints Mind Pump Media to address the country's obesity epidemic. What's the first issue you tackle and how do you approach it? Oh, geez. Presidential orders. I, you know, these questions are so funny because it's like, you are the, you know, you make all the decisions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can pass a law that will fix everything. It's good, though, because I, I already know how I think you guys uh, are going to answer, too, because uh, I, I'm sure a lot of people think about this. And I think a lot of people... You know, okay, we have this huge problem. So let's get in there and start making these rules. Let's get rid of sodas or let's start taxing it this way or so. <laughs> and and what I know that both these guys are going to say is is probably very similar to me, which is I probably do uh, close to nothing, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. And and be that's the just, example. And here's what I, here's what I might do. Right, I I would if I could think of something that's not going to take anybody's rights or liberties away or freedoms away. I would uh, now make part of every high school health curriculum a uh, mind pump as part of it. So all, all, all little, of- Little crony capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> Self-serving. Well, hey, Adam's yeah. president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No make my Well, let's, let's pretend, okay, and then, and then at that point, because I'm a president and I have all kinds of other pool, I'm not really worried about mind pump making money, so then I make it a non-profit, right? So that, so okay. then, so, okay. so there's no, right. so you can take right. the crony nice capitalism, so you can take the crony capitalism out because I'm no longer profiting You'd from- you make a good politician. Yeah, right? you like that? <laughs> so <laughs> so we're, we're non-profit at this point because we're, we're now the president, so- Yes, you have to. It's a mandatory part of all health curriculum is listening to uh, the show Mind Pump and 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 utilize and getting some of that information. Other than that, I'm not going to put any sort of regulation or laws or taxes on anything to try and fight obesity. I think it's a terrible way. It never works. Mm -hmm. I, so yeah. I know exactly what I would do, and it's not about what I would do; it's what I would undo. I would eliminate subsidies. I would eliminate subsidies for food and food products. Let me give you an example. Of, uh, of how subsidies have caused problems, okay? Uh, corn. Corn is one of the most highly subsidized uh, foods in America. So at some point, the government convinced uh, people that it was in our best interest to take tax money and automatically fund farmers to grow corn, right? We need corn. Uh, it's a good idea. It's a, it's a good crop. Let's take tax dollars and put it towards corn. So what was the result of that? Well, corn became extremely inexpensive, um, even though we are paying for it, but we're forced to pay for it. Farmers grew corn more than anything else. Sugar cane went out of business, and the way we sweetened all of our foods was with high fructose corn syrup. In fact, corn sub subsidies got so bad, we started talking about making corn into fuel, which is interesting. Let's take food and turn it into, into gas. That's a very strange uh, proposition. <laughs> yeah. We have subsidies for wheat. We have subsidies for dairy. We have subsidies for, for all kinds of different... Eliminate the subsidies because those cause ripple effects in the market that skew the food and what it's really valued at and what we eat a lot of. You know, one of the main reasons why wheat, corn, and soy is in almost every processed food that there is is because it's subs those are subsidized crops. And so now we have food that has all of those things in them. So I would do – it would be less about what I would do, like add. It's more mm. about what I would take away. That's and then, a good one. And yeah. then the second thing, I would just talk a lot about health and fitness <laughs> well, as the president. Yeah. You know? um, yeah. Well, I, honestly, when I think about these types of issues, I go all the way back down to childhood. So my thoughts uh, start gathering around education, around what kids are exposed to uh, through you know their school, through their extracurricular activities, and just to create more opportunities for them to get exposed to better information uh, and to have these opportunities to move a lot more throughout the day as they're learning and have like those uh, you know types of curriculums incorporated somehow within the structure. So to really evaluate uh, how uh, you know, the, the entire like school system, I guess if, if we're still going to stick with it and it's not going to still all be all online forever. Uh, if this is something that, uh, is still sort of standardized to kind of reevaluate that in terms of like updating everything to the latest, uh, you know, information and, and also, uh, get kids to, to really understand their body and pay attention to their body and, uh, you know, have professionals come in and do talks and, you know, those types of things just so that at least, you know, not to say that uh, they're going to follow all these things, but at least they've been exposed to it to know a good example. Because I think the biggest issue is, you know, parents usually are the biggest example. And I think a lot of parents out there are just, you know, not cutting it. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I can only think of one 
I can think of one government thing that has probably that has improved our health, and that was the campaign against tobacco. Um, and I mean, you know, a broken clock, you know, will, will be right twice a day, right? So they did uh, have success with that. Uh, it did, I think, play a role in the reduction in tobacco use. But everything else that they've done to improve our health has actually made our health worse. Uh, creating the food pyramid made it worse. Mm -hmm. Demonizing fat. And you know that was a big government, uh, you know, production, right? That caused a lot of worse health. Subsidizing crops that we thought were a good idea. That there's a Statins reason why statins and cholesterol. Yeah, right? there, there's a reason why you know corn-fed beef is so cheap. It's because the corn is subsidized, and so now it's cheaper. Now, how do you compete that with grass-fed meat, for example? So, I think one of the best things you could ever do is, if you were a leader like that, is to lead by example talk and persuade and then get out of the way like get out of the way and reduce and, and get rid of all these programs that have really only caused unintended consequences which have resulted um, and I can make this argument pretty sound uh, have resulted in worse health uh, not in better health